We are headed out for a hunt. Here we go. Larry King out. What's up? What's up? We had a dream. Oh, yes. He had a dream for freedom, justice, and equality for all people everywhere. What's this? This is the Nobel Peace Prize awarded to Dr. King for his... What's wow. That? Right, little Johnny. We don't know what, what that is. Truth be told, allegedly in the booth, in the building, in the booth, in the building, in the booth, in the building, in the booth, in the building. Make sure you hit that like, so share and subscribe, man. Uh, happy MLK Day, man. Uh, definitely happy MLK Day, man. Uh, definitely a good guy, man. Honorable guy, man. Uh, he definitely uh put a dream into place that is being lived out at this time in life. All right, y'all. So we got none other than Fred Scott King's cousin, man. Uh, he slams the MLK statue. Uh, here's the reason why. Let's take a look. Sculptor Hank Willis Thomas honored Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and his wife, Coretta Scott King, in a new statue yesterday in Boston. It's called The Embrace. But after the unveiling in Boston, Coretta's cousin, Seneca Scott, expresses why he is not a fan of the statue. You know, I think this is the product of the woke algorithm that has gone awry. It's like the child who... Uh, and the emperor who has no clothes now you know of course social media has went a uh, blazing on this uh particular topic in this statue let me just say this man um any artist's uh piece of work that they put out there man it can be interpreted in a different way by whoever the viewer is let me just say that first and foremost but it's clear um, pretty clear in this instance that this looks a little, you know what I mean? It looks a little fishy, man. I mean, let's, let's just be real. But let's take a look at some of the stuff that was said on social media via Twitter. Um, Isaac Hayes the third man, says that this picture looks like uh, uh, the munch, man. The munchies look like somebody's uh, eating some 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 poo nanny here on the, on, on the sculpture, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man, about it, man. Also, um, another young lady brings it into fuel uh full perspective and she shows the full uh frontal view of it and it, it doesn't look as bad man but y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about it man truth be told allegedly make sure you like share and uh support the channel man um also man uh pay close attention to i'm about to play the whole uh interview um here at the end man so pay close attention man i'll see y'all next time and i'm out so in Boston, to celebrate MLK Day, they just unveiled a statue of MLK, but it's not really a statue of MLK. It seems to be a statue mocking MLK and his wife, and now it's forever on Boston Common. It has outraged members of Credit Scott King's family. Understandably, if you've seen the statue, it's pornographic. Seneca Scott is a cousin of Credit Scott King. He's called this monument a, quote, masturbatory metal homage in a new piece in Compact Magazine. Seneca Scott's a union leader and community organizer, founder of Neighbors Together Oakland, and joins us tonight. Mr. Scott, thank you so much uh, for coming on. So what do you tell us about this? I, I think a lot of people are kind of confused by it. It seems ugly at best, pornographic at worst. What do you think this is about? You know, I think this is the product of the woke algorithm that has gone awry. It's like the child who uh, and the emperor who has no clothes, who had to have the, the nerve to shout out that the emperor was naked before his court were willing to follow in suit. And I think yeah. that's what's happened now that, you know, things have gotten viral. And it's pretty much the consensus that this statue is a monstrosity and an insult to the family. Uh, I would like to say that, first off, it's important to acknowledge that it is Martin Luther King Day. And uh, yeah. nothing should detract from his radical vision, Tucker. And he was assassinated by the U.S. government. Uh, you've talked about JFK's assassination recently. Yep. This was in the same period. And he was assassinated right when he was escalating from talking about racial bigotry to class and ending the war in Vietnam. <laughs> I noticed. And my, my cousin picked up that mantle 
and proudly, uh, and, and I'm a very proud member of the Scott family. So I was rather upset to see, to see that statue, to be honest with you. Well, you make a good point that no one ever says out loud, but he had shifted to populist economics. I have no idea who killed Martin Luther King, but it's very obvious it was not James Earl Ray acting alone. He had two foreign passports. He was escaped from prison. The whole thing is ridiculous. Why is there no interest in that question? Well, I think that it's a big moment, and there's a lot of pressure when you spend $10 million on, on something and people are expected to follow in suit. So yeah. this, is, this is the biggest, what I think is the biggest lesson is we're at a time when Americans, and particularly black Americans, are falling behind in education. We have a lot less money. The price of eggs are, are $8, $9. These things are, are affecting us. And then we're mocked by this monstrosity that spends $10 million with the partial right. use of public funds. Well, that's exactly right. It's, and the point of it, of course, is to mock and degrade. Um, it's not art. It's a middle finger. Of course it is. Senator Scott, we appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you so much. Martin Luther King's death is had on you. Can I stop you for just a second and ask you a couple of questions? Well, it all depends on the question. Can you tell me uh, what effect Martin Luther King's death has had on you? It hasn't had any on me personally. Um... <laughs> I think that um, uh, the way everything is is turning Daddy out, is that they that they're me. bending over backwards to uh, idolize him, and uh, Daddy, I think that he was a very me. fine man. Has it affected your decision? Of, hang on a sec, sweetheart. Has it affected your feelings about Negroes in general? Well, I always have had a good feeling about them. So I mean, I don't know whether I speak, uh, you know, for, for myself personally. I've uh, uh, I, I really don't feel any way prejudiced or anything about them. I think, if, I think perhaps his death may have been, uh, it, it may work uh, in the reverse and that people will uh, uh, treat his death, treat him as a martyr and uh, maybe bend over backwards to, uh, you know, make everything better for the Negro. Would you work towards that end? Oh, certainly, of course. I'm all for it. I'm, uh, I think that uh, perhaps this is... Uh, uh, a horrible way to make people realize that